Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. This is for the sign of Leo. Now, this may not resonate for you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people, okay? I have pre shuffled this deck a little bit, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will zoom this in when I get done laying out the cards. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. Now this is a general reading. Typically my uh, readings turn out to be love readings. We will see what comes up. I need to zoom this in and then we will get started. Okay. All right, so the basis of your reading is the temperance card that also represents the sign of Sagittarius. It tells me that many of you are um, needing to bring some balance back to your life. There could be some overindulging this month. This is the month of December, okay? So there could be some partying going on where you may be overindulging or you could be overindulging in food, okay? There's definitely some overindulging going on. Um, just you might want to uh, do whatever it is in moderation. This is telling me that you may need to cut down on something, okay? But I do have to let you know that, I mean, it is the holiday season. Many of you will be receiving a beautiful gift, and it could be a gift of money. I don't know if you consider that beautiful, but for many people you do. Um, so there is some money that looks like could be coming in, all right? Um, there is definitely a gift being handed to you from above, something on a physical level, okay? This could be a new partner if you're single. But in most cases, it's something, you know, physical. It could be a beautiful gift, extravagant gift, okay? that you. It could be a gift of money. It could be a, a big gift. It could, doesn't even have to really be a big gift. It's just a gift that you um, are going to really enjoy, okay? You are going to be given a gift, okay? Um, which is the holiday season, so most many of you are going to be getting gifts anyway. But it could be a gift of love, I have to tell you. So you could be getting, you know, for some of you, so somebody that's watching this is going to get a gift of love. It even could uh, lead to an engagement. I just have to tell you that could be the case. I do feel like um, things are changing for you. Um, but I think this month is more of a month. It could be a little chaotic. There's a little bit of chaos here, a little bit of disorganization, but it's not terrible because it's just a little bit, you know, it's not like things are crazy, crazy. It's just a little bit of chaotic for you. Um, there's definitely um, wish fulfillment here. I think many of you have been dreaming about something, wishing for something, something that um, you've been waiting for, okay? It's like you've been waiting for your justice, okay? Um, we do have karma here, so perhaps you guys um, are, have been waiting for something to come around, and if you've been waiting for a while, it could happen this month. Your wish could be fulfilled. Could be, I really have to, like I said, most of my readings turn out to be love readings. This is leading back to love. Many of you, this thing that you've been waiting for has to do with love. So it could be a commitment in a relationship. It could be a new love altogether. I mean, that's what it is. And I think that for many of you, um, something is about to be revealed. You know, it's, something is about to be revealed. And it could, I definitely, for most of you, it has to do with love. Okay, so I'm just saying I can't, I can't get too much deeper, but 
Um, I feel, you know, it is the holiday season. I don't want to ruin things for people. Um, but I do feel like there's uh, something, it's a, it's a time of rebirth, okay? It's a time of renewal for you. Any strife that you've been going through this past year is going to be over with. It really is. We have the death card and the ten of swords, which is often a death. So when you hit that period of feeling like you are dead inside or you're at the end of a situation or you can't go like on like this anymore, the next step is to go to a different spot, okay, to start over. All right. So I feel like the period, the last year, over the last year, okay, you've been through a period of stress. You've been through a period of stress. You've been through a period of tension and conflicts and there's probably been more than one secret that's come out, you know. There's been all kinds of changes in your life. It feels like a foundation probably has just begun for many of you and I feel like probably a heaviness that many of you were carrying around has been lifted finally. Um, I feel like things are starting to look up this month. I feel like many of you are going through a transformation. I think that this year ends, that this month of December ends with happiness and love. Okay? I really do. I've, there's definitely a secret that is about to come out. There's no doubt about it. And it brings you justice. Okay, whatever this secret secret is brings you justice. And I don't think it's in a bad way. I don't I think it's in a good way. I think there's a completion. There is some completions here, definitely. There's some completions of strife. There's a completion of loneliness. I think that many of you are moving to a much better spot whereas you're feeling more um in tune with who you are, you, you're feeling more spiritual, you're feeling more awake, you're more comfortable with yourself, you, you're listening to your inner guide, you're letting go of what no longer serves you, you're open to the change, you're working on a partnership, you're willing to start over again. I feel like many of you are starting something brand new, okay? Now, this time is fluid. This could be happening in November. It's being recorded in November, but it could be happening in December or it could be happening in January, okay? Because I see a brand new start. So this brand new start could be at the beginning of your new year, okay? It looks to me like, and that's what I keep thinking, is that this is at the end of December, this death card. It's not a physical death, okay? It's a death of a period of, uh, in your life. It's the end of the year. It's the end of the turmoil, okay? It is. That's the Ten of Swords. It's the end of the turmoil. It's the end of the conflicts that you've been going through over the last year. I think many of you are working on your foundation, and I think it's with somebody, okay? I really do. We have a Scorpio here. We have a Pisces here. We have a Sagittarius. We have a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have Aquarius, we have Libra, we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini up there. We have a Taurus right here. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. But I feel like many of you are starting a brand new journey after a period of conflicts and turmoil, okay? I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. Um, but I think that that it's going to be beautiful. It definitely involves love. There's definitely a birth here, okay? A rebirth. And I think it's a rebirth of you, okay? Or a relationship, okay? It could be of a relationship. There could even be a new love coming in for some of you. Uh, there, there's definitely a gift that you are, are going to absolutely love, okay? You are going to receive a gift that you have been waiting for. Okay, you have some big completions here. Okay, you have three tens. Tens are about completion. There's a completion of struggle. There's a completion of instability. There's a, you know, instability and insecurity. That's over. There's a completion of uh, mental anguish. That's over. Okay, it's over. So I really feel like it's beautiful. 
This is for Leo. This is this month is going to be there's going to be a focus on partnerships, okay? And love. And working on building a foundation. I think your foundation, whichever it is, is becoming stronger. <laughs> Did I, this is the rods of love, by the way. And this is fast-moving energy. And I just said your focus is on love. And I put that right over this love. Ten of cups, page of cups. Your hopes and wishes are going to be fulfilled. And that's your justice. That's what you've been waiting for. This year, you know, hasn't been easy. It hasn't. Five of swords, five of swords. Five of swords, five of swords. Same card. It hasn't been Okay, there's been struggle, there's been strife, maybe there's been some disagreements, maybe a secret came out that caused some disagreements that made you the need to, gave you the need to heal, okay, you needed to learn to heal, you needed to learn to have hope, you needed to learn to have trust, okay, oh, the five of wands, Oh. Many of you have refocused your thoughts. You really have. You've refocused your thoughts. And I know that we've had this a lot for you, Leo. You've removed yourself from negative energies. You have. And, and those energies, I believe, many of them were in your head. Okay? They were. With the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords, they were definitely in your head. I think that you have felt this last year of 2017, there's been a lot of instability. There's a lot of, been a lot of insecurity, all right? There's been a lot of letting go of the old, of shedding the old skin that you were in, shedding the old you. There's been some serious soul searching. There's been like an awakening with this judgment card and the high priestess. You, Many of you have gone through an awakening and because you have... Things have changed very fast for you on a positive level. I have to remind you, this is reading is not for everybody. Because some of you have not went through your awakening yet. Some of you are still in this state of depression. You're still thinking negative thoughts. You still have the strife in your life because you haven't took the time to refocus. So if that's the case for you, Whoever's watching this, it's time for you to step back. This is the hermit. Step back. And when I say step back, it means step back for more than just a minute. Step back for a day. Go within. Be by yourself. And think about what, what is working and what isn't working in your life and how you can change it. Don't think about how your partner can change, okay? Think about how you can change the situation, okay? This is an awakening, a wake-up call, all right? It's also a card of forgiveness. This is the judgment card. It's time to forgive. Forgive yourself. When you're going deep, if you haven't done this, many of you have because I can see that love is, is coming in and there's a lot of positivity here. But there's also some negativity too. And because this is for hundreds and thousands of people, some people are already past this negative cycle and some are not. And that is evident, okay? As soon as you remove yourself from this depression, this anguish, you know, things will happen very quickly for you. And your justice and healing and wishes and love will come. But you have to close a door. You have to close a door. And this door is within your mind. And the only way you can close that door is to refocus on your thoughts, on your goals, on your future. And don't expect your partner or your mother or your father or your friend or anybody to do it for you. It's you that has to do it. This is your time to wake up. It's your time to wake up and bring back your security 
and your stability, you can't leave that in somebody else's hands, by the way. We have three fives, five, 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 okay? Life changes, life changes. Leo, many of you are going through or you have gone through some major life changes and you've done it, many of you have, some of you haven't, by really refocusing, okay? Many of you have opened up spiritually in a big, big way. I see a transformation. I really, really do. I think this year has taught you something really big. And I think it has to do with you and your, and your thoughts and where you want to go, what you deserve. I think um, you are being divinely guided to make major life changes. Okay? You are being divinely guided in the fives, major life changes. You are being divinely guided by right here and right here and right here to make major life changes. It's time for a transformation for you. Are you ready? So this month, don't pretend, okay, about anything. The basis of your reading is the temperance card. Okay, this is often the fake it till you make it card. All right. Don't pretend that something isn't going to work, okay? It's also about manifestation because when you pretend, when you, you have to bring the balance back, okay? You have to do it. You can't escape from it. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot escape from this. Everything happens for a reason. Many of you are going through a spiritual healing renewal, okay? And, you, and it takes compromise, it takes co cooperation, it takes balance, it takes um, acknowledgement. So don't, don't try to escape any situation. Acknowledge your feelings. And if you, and if you feel, have fear, if you have fear or you feel like you can't remove yourself from this depression, take the time to refocus, okay? Just take the time to refocus. That's all you got to do. But I think this month is about bringing balance back to your life. Balance, harmony, and peace. I think many of you are going through a spiritual awakening. And I think for many of you, love is coming in. All right. Mm -hmm. If it's not here already. And I do see a, a, a gift. I do. I do. Of stability. <laughs> Security. Could be a new partnership. Oh my goodness. There it is. And this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. I have to tell you guys that because somebody thinks my videos are theirs when they're not. Um... The card is innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth. Makes sense, doesn't it? Innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. <laughs> it's funny because I brought up you can't ask your partner to change. Your mother, your father, that's where the blame comes in. This is about you. 
changing. That's what, that's what will um, manifest this transformation right here. And I think this transformation is at the end of December. I do because this is, that's around the corner. Okay. So I think it's at the end of December. Now the time is fluid. This could be in November for some of you. Some of you are farther along than others. Some of you haven't even reached the point of um, even starting to focus. Okay. You're blaming. You're blaming. So the first step is to start blaming and start thinking about changing your th self. Okay. So that's what I have for December. And um, if you want to know more about me, um, Soul Source Tarot, you can watch your, or my, welcome video. And I will be doing Let's Talk sessions um, almost nightly, not every night, but as much as I can to talk about anything and everything. Live sessions. Talk to you later.